Making a baby may seem like the most natural thing in the world, but for many couples, it's not easy. Fortunately, medical science has come a long way. One of the most successful techniques we have today is IVF, in vitro fertilization. It's helped bring nearly 10 million babies into the world since 1978. But what really happens during IVF? Let me walk you through the process, step by step, so you know exactly what to expect. Step 1. Preparation. IVF starts long before we retrieve any eggs. First, we take a detailed medical history and do basic fertility tests for both partners. These help us understand what's going on and how to personalize the treatment. Some women may be advised to take birth control pills or estrogen for a few weeks before we begin, just to regulate the cycle and improve the chances of retrieving multiple mature eggs. Step 2. Ovarian Stimulation Normally, a woman's body matures one egg. But with IVF, we want to grow multiple eggs to increase your chances. We use hormonal injections, tailored to your body, to stimulate your ovaries. During this time, we'll monitor your follicles regularly, either daily or every few days, with blood tests and ultrasound scans. Once your eggs are ready, we give you a trigger shot 36 hours before egg retrieval. Step 3. Egg Retrieval This is a short, outpatient procedure done under sedation. Using ultrasound guidance, we gently insert a thin needle through the vagina into the ovaries to collect the mature eggs. The retrieved eggs are then placed in a lab dish with a nutrient-rich solution and kept in an incubator. Step 4. Fertilization We use a technique called ICSC, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, where a single sperm is injected directly into each mature egg. On average, about 70% of mature eggs will fertilize. Don't worry, our embryologists are experts at this delicate process. Step 5. Embryo Development Now, we wait and watch. The fertilized eggs are monitored over 3 to 5 days as they divide and grow. The goal is to reach the blastocyst stage, a strong indicator of embryo health. Only about half the fertilized eggs typically make it this far. The best quality embryos are then either transferred or frozen for later use. Step 6. Embryo Transfer this is a simple and painless procedure, very similar to a routine pelvic exam or pap smear. Using ultrasound guidance, we insert a thin, flexible catheter through the cervix and gently transfer a single high-quality blastocyst into the uterus. The whole procedure takes just about 10 minutes. No anesthesia is needed, and you can go home shortly after. Some women may experience mild cramping, bloating, or spotting, but this is completely normal and nothing to worry about. Now, here's an important point many patients overlook. If you have additional good quality blastocysts, we freeze them using vitrification, a rapid freezing technique that protects embryo quality. These frozen embryos become your safety net. If the first transfer doesn't result in a pregnancy, you can try again without repeating the entire IVF cycle, saving you time, money, and emotional energy. Freezing also gives you the option to plan for future pregnancies without rushing through repeated stimulation and egg retrieval cycles. Step 7. Pregnancy Test About 14 days later, we do a blood test to check your HCG levels. If it's positive, congratulations, you're pregnant. If not, don't lose heart. If you have frozen embryos, we can plan another transfer without restarting the whole IVF cycle. If you don't, we'll help you decide next steps. IVF is a journey, not just a procedure. It requires emotional strength, medical guidance, and most importantly, informed decision-making. That's why I believe in educating my patients. You have the right to ask questions, get clarity, and take control of your treatment. If you're confused, overwhelmed, or just want to make sure you're on the right track, I'd be happy to help. Book a video consultation with me.